first thing that got me into music was just my fandom. I had some friends in bands, but never really got into it. Just kind of everything I was listening to kind of inspired me. I was like, I have to do this. I have to do something like this. So I just started writing lyrics and, and that was it. Uh, I started playing guitar when I was about 12 or 13. And then uh, almost instantly switched to bass when I realized all my uh, other friends played guitar as well. Maybe both my parents, just my parents. They saw that I had a, I was interested in music and they just encouraged it and bought me guitars and basses. I'm very privileged that way where uh, my family could provide basic equipment for my uh, artistic needs. What got me into music was sitting next to a drum cage in church listening to the drummers play drums when I was three years old. Probably just my parents showing me rock records uh, over the years. I just remember listening to those records when I was a kid and it just making me feel something exciting that I wanted to be a part of and try out myself. The band started when I started basically just writing a bunch of poems. Um, I've been listening to a lot of music and I was writing just kind of rambling poetry and I came to Alex with him and said, hey, I'd really like to uh, to make some music and put these lyrics to something. I read them over and I thought they were really good. And I just told him I wanted to start a band with him. So we began writing music while he was still in college. And when he graduated, we've been playing shows and touring ever since. I joined On Better Terms in the fall of 2017. I had been looking on Facebook. Andrew had made a post, messaged him and me and Alex and him start playing together within a few weeks of that. My relationship with Alex goes pretty far back. We still, we were both kind of uh, within and around the local scene uh, in the Dallas area. So uh, we both played bass and um, kind of rotated through different bands and we had kn known of each other. And um, I came out of the military and didn't really know what to do and I wanted to get back into music. And Alex had reached out to me and said that they were looking for a bass player, so I tried to find some bass equipment and started playing with them and then went on tour. Touring in a DIY band is uh, extremely therapeutic. It's my break from my regular work life. It, it's the, the one thing I feel kind of truly at home doing. It's definitely one of my favorite aspects of playing music gotten to meet a lot of really great people. Sometimes it almost feels like you're just camping with your friends, playing music that you love and just having a great time. Touring is a lot of fun. It's a break from my daily nine to five life. And basically is like a vacation where at the end of every night I get to play music to people. Writing Waves was probably one of the most special writing experiences I've ever had. We're in a, in a practice space that we were renting and I would just go up there after work. Uh, we would just flesh out ideas, write parts, just kind of bounce things around. And basically wrote 70% of the record that way over a period of several months. We finished it off writing it in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I feel like what came out of that season was a really special project that I'm very proud of, very happy to play. Yeah, so the album uh, is called Waves. And we want, kind of wanted to keep it simple. You know, sometimes people overthink their titles and, you know, Waves is a, is a very basic title, but it really is just about cyclical thought, cyclical depression, just kind of those, those ups and downs, those ebbs and flows of of mentality and just kind of life in general. To me, the record being called Waves just represents a time in my life where there was a lot of uncertainty. Uh, I hadn't been in the DFW area for that long and didn't really know anyone and was just kind of figuring myself out, figuring out what I was capable of and part of who I was as a person. I had a lot of personal issues going on within my life and um, it really just kind of added to the characteristic of the record. So 
Um, pretty simple, but we felt it kind of really encompassed um, what most of the songs were about. Not being able to play shows during the pandemic has been extremely difficult. That's my, you know, primary outlet. It's where I see all my friends. Uh, I honestly can't say I've, I've dealt with it that well. Uh, at first, I was kind of eager to have some time away from playing shows. We had just gotten off a big tour that we did um, and were kind of demoing out songs in addition to playing locally. I definitely missed seeing my friends, playing with them, missing being on tour and, and things of that nature. Watching a lot of YouTube, I definitely watched a lot of live sets, uh, some of my favorite bands' live sets, just to kind of relive the experience in general. Finding other things to do with my time is reading, uh, or trying to uh, be a better dog dad, or putting more effort into work, um, finding other things to occupy that, that void. The thing I'm looking most forward to is probably just getting back to where we left off as a band, I feel more energized and motivated to start writing new music and playing more shows and going on tours. Full of anticipation about what the next few years look like as a musician, looking forward to collaborating with people again, looking forward to collaborating with new people. Playing more shows, maybe going on a tour, um, finding a way to get ourselves involved with um, more uh, local bands or scenes or uh, just getting out and about and doing something active. When things start getting back to normal, uh, hopefully, you know, things come back in the same capacity they were, but even better. Um, you know, we've talked about doing more mixed shows and kind of getting creative with the process. I feel like the pandemic's kind of opened up you know, different avenues, you know, even like more, you know, even incorporating streaming, like we can still do that while, you know, shows are going on. Um, just kind of see what kind of, what kind of new ideas come out of it. My favorite song on this live stream to perform would be Peaks. It has a real fun rhythm to play, some really great dynamics. It kind of gets soft, has a breakdown. It's, it's just a fun, well-rounded song overall. My favorite song to perform on this live stream is probably Peaks. I just love the variety in the dynamics of the song. Um, I love that it has soft parts, loud parts, energetic parts, groovy parts. And I think Josh and Andrew do a really good job of um, bringing their own creativity to the song that blends it really well. Peaks is uh, pretty simple. It's just about overcoming obstacles, honestly. Um, it's just about, you know, trying to get over your internal apathy and depression and just trying to, you know, even if it's something small, just conquering conquering your everyday uh, battles. My favorite song on this live stream to perform is definitely Violent Means, um, just because it's probably the heaviest one on here and it's just, it's just the most fun. What is your favorite song on this live stream? Violent means. Violent means I get to um, slap a little bit more, and that's uh, fun for me. Violent means um, is pretty much just about the cycle of, of human violence and civilization. How it's it seems to be never ending. You know, we we say we're making all these progressions, but there's at the end of the day, there's still violence, even if it's not the same explicit violence that you know we've seen in the past. Music means a lot. I mean, it's pretty much everything. Um, if I'm not playing a show, I'm trying to go to a show or listening to music. Um, yeah, again, it's just, it's therapy pretty much. Um, discovering new music just, yeah, gets me through the day. What music means to me is something very special and sentimental that I'm not sure I've got the right words to describe yet. It's something that's always been a part of my life. I'm very proud that I get to exist on a planet and create this amazing art with other people and how it brings us closer together as a species. It's a form of escape uh, and a positive and negative aspect. 
Um, sometimes things don't need to be escaped and they shouldn't be ran from and music is a, a good corner where you can get away from other things in the world and sometimes it's a, it's a good place we need to kind of recharge yourself and um, uh, heal. Music to me is definitely my purest expression of, of who I am and how I feel no matter how bad a day I've had or what's going on in my life. As soon as I sit behind the kit, all of that washes away. I feel like I can think very clearly and just have a good sense of what matters to me and what doesn't matter to me. And music is the only thing I can thank for that.
comfort or uproot and catch wind at the mercy of intersecting currents until the entropy settles in unsettled minds and you regain hope and an environment conducive to thriving a world you had thought was not worth surviving you can find something to replace what you once found important in this place
out on top Consider the amount of time wasted and left out to rot A thousand scenarios stage at dress rehearsal To be critiqued and perfected But opening night never comes Delayed the production so that no one could attend Not one that without an absolute I've become predisposed To examine every flaw in my past searching for one Magnify every crack in the concrete Too busy analyzing the next step to ever actually put my feet back to ground But how could I ever care enough? How could anyone ever care enough? We're being dragged this way and that Constantly being told what to react to and how to react While perpetually unable to react at all Latch onto something and embrace it. Just pick something up and run with it. What if it's not just right? But well, then again, how could it be anyway? How could anyone be so confident in their endeavors? Forcing me to look at those around me and ask why so serious all the time. Serious to the point where you feel the need to hurt others because you can't take a second to try and gain a little perspective. In a world clouded with the arbitrary and the subjective,